Hey guys, so um, I am going to be showing you my Clover Clover Squad unboxing today. Um, just want to let you guys know um, this is a box that they send to different um, different people that they think fit their brand. Um, I've been using a lot of these tools myself for a while, um, and. Uh, I will say they're a very easy company to work with and um, they've been very generous with giveaways and um, products that I can use um, personally just to try out and um, you know give reviews on so I'm gonna start doing some of those soon I have a bunch of thimbles to do um, and I will be showing you how to use some of these tools as well along the way um, but right now I just want to show you what's in here all right so first of all I love this little clover squad hashtag so if you go on Instagram or um, I think really any any social media platform and use this um, hashtag you get to see all the influencers and um, how we're using our products and um, it just be a neat thing to see if there's something you have questions about okay so I'm gonna be truthful with you here I already have some of these products out because I've been using them <laughs> and I love them and I really couldn't wait until I made this video to use them so Anyway, I open it up. It's got a bunch of stuff in here. And again, it was packaged nicer because um, I've taken some things out. So one of the things they have in here is um, a rotary cutter. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with rotary cutters. Um, I use them for all of my cutting. Uh, so it just makes it easy and straight lines. And um, I think it's safe, personally. Um, Maybe not. Maybe it's not as safe as scissors, but I will say that it is very simple. You can cut through layers of fabric at the same time. So um, I'm going to give this one a go. It looks like it's got nice grips. It's got a nice up and down closure. So um, I'm going to try that one out. And along the same lines, we have um, some shears here. So um, some sewing scissors. These are, they have a nice little leather um, holder right there. So um, I'm constantly using my scissors as well for different things. So I need to keep them sharp. I need to have a good quality pair. And um, I always have to have them handy because um, I'm not gonna lie, I got a few pair. <laughs> and uh, they've probably disappeared at some point along the way. So anyway, always handy to have another one. Uh, let's see. All right, so this is one of the products that I took out actually. So here's the packaging. Here's the product. So this is a um, roll and press. So if you're doing a seam and you just want to um, quickly get it, it, it flat, um, this I love because if I'm doing something um, small and I just don't want to take out my iron, um, this is an easy little quick, um, and then it's flat. <laughs> so I already have that one out. I hit it in my arsenal. This is a magnetic pin caddy. So. Um, I don't know about you guys, but if you've ever been to Hobby Lobby or any of the um, the stores that use these to keep their needles, um, you know, handy and away from little fingers. But my kids are always the one that are crawling underneath um, all the fabric bolts to get the needles and bring them to the ladies. So <laughs> my kids are very familiar with what these are. But this is a really neat magnetic pin caddy. So um, you just keep your pins here instead of sticking, having to stick them in a pin cushion all the time. You just kind of throw them on there and it's magnetic. So it'll grab them for you. Let's see, along the same lines, let's go for pins again. These are, um, these are heart-shaped um, pins here, little straight pins. Um, I love using these um, when I'm not using my clover clips, and I'm going to explain those to you in a minute. When I'm not using those, I'm always using pins because, um, especially if they're thin, I find that I can sew right over them. I know you're not supposed to, but I do. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, I'll go for this one. So these are clover clips. If you're not using these in your sewing, then you're not doing it right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I personally love these. I use them on everything. And I love how there's this little, you know, rainbow package. But um, I do, I use them on practically everything um, that I use. It's hand sewing, machine sewing, just keeping projects clipped together so I don't lose pieces. Um, I've used them before to keep my daughter's bangs out of her eyes. <laughs> They're good for everything. Right, so let's see. Uh, there's a 
protect and grip thimble. Okay, so metal top, plastic bottom. So these come in three different sizes, small, medium, and large, and um, it's rubber, so it, it, you know, it'll kind of conform to your finger a little bit. I haven't used these yet. I, I've got to say, I swear by the, um, by the, the leather ones, but I will be giving these a try because I want to try all of the different options and let you guys know what I think. Okay. Needles, 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 gold eye milliners. All right. So these are long. Um, I gotta say, I kind of prefer the long ones when I'm hand sewing. Um, but it's just cause I like to get a few stitches done at a time. Uh, the milliners I love because they're nice and sharp. Um, I will say the eyes are a little small. So if you have trouble threading, you're going to need one of these. So these are little threaders, little, uh, helpful tools. Um, I don't use these per se, uh, but my daughter does when she, um, needs to thread needles. So, oops, just lost my needles. Um, so there's another package of needles here. And again, these are, these are gold eye sharps. So these you'll see they're shorter. Um, again, some people prefer the shorter needles for their hand sewing. Um, but these are, you know, these can be used for basically anything, any kind of sewing, um, any, any hand sewing that you might have to do. So again, the eyes are, are very small, so I would recommend the, um, the threaders for them. Taylor's chalk. I have never used this before, but I'm going to start garment sewing whenever I get up the courage and this is going to be useful just for making marks, you know, chalk marks that you can, will come out in the wash later. All right. So I've got, I'm going to leave these two for last. So this is a water erasable marker. Um, so you mark whatever you need to do. Um, on your fabric and then you wash it when you're all done and I will say I use this a lot for embroidery because it's very handy to have marks while you're stitching and to be able to remove them when you're done all right two that I left for last is one is a seam ripper so as you can see I've got it out of the package because I've been using it like crazy um, I do really like this handle and it's got a little rubber grip here um, so, uh, you know, again, if you're sewing and, um, you're not using a seam ripper, then you must be magic because <laughs> sewers have sewing machines, scissors, and seam rippers. <laughs> All right. And last, there's a point turner. So I've already got this out of the package. So you can see the packaging. Um, I love this because I like the point. It's nice and sharp, but it won't go through your material, uh, but you can get nice, nice clean edges. And then um, I like um, the, the other side here is the, the marker. So if you, you know, use a ruler and then you want to mark along some fabric, it'll put some creases in it, which is especially helpful if you're, um, you know, you're hand stitching or you're, um, you're hand quilting. So it's very, very good. Um, so anyway, that is, I think that's all of them. I think that's it. So, okay. yeah, that's it. <laughs> so anyway, um, this is uh, a, just a, a bunch of stuff that Clover sent me as a sewist. I know there's, they also do a, um, a knitter box for knitting um, people. So, you know, um, they, they really have, you know, your needs in mind um, with these tools. So a lot of these just make your life easier. So, you know, if, there's a question about one of these that you um, want to ask me, you haven't tried something or you're curious, just let me know. Um, you know, just, just put it in the comments there and I'll try to respond um, as quick as I can. And um, I look forward to using these products in the near future. And actually today I'm doing some sewing. <laughs> and uh, if there's anything you want me to actually show, um, show how it's used, um, you want me to do a review on it, let me know. And uh, again, a big thanks to Clover, um, Clover USA for sending me um, this big box of goodies. So um, I'm excited to try it out. A few of these things I actually needed <laughs> because of my old ones had, um, well, they were just old, uh, so they weren't working anymore. So um, it's been very useful, very handy, and thank you very much. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and um, I hope you learned something from it. <laughs>